Good. All right, I'm here with um, national championship head coach J.W. Keekhaver, the Carthage men's uh, volleyball team. Um, first off, J.W., congratulations. Um, you know, what what a match that was. Um, just kind of talk about how it feels to, to win the national title. I'm sure it might be a little surreal right now and just, um, you know, kind of some of the emotions flowing right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, one incredible match. Uh, Benedictine uh, is coached by a good friend of mine, Christian Staple. And, yeah. Um, he had those guys playing incredible volleyball. They were digging everything. Uh, and, and the one thing they were doing better than us all match is they were turning volleyballs in transition much better than we were. Sure. We were just trying to survive pretty much all match. So um, I'm just really proud of the fight we have. Um, you know, 22 and 0 or whatever going into that match, we only lost one set all year. Mm -hmm. And to go down 0 1 and then 1 2 and to never stop believing in our brand of volleyball and never stop believing in each other. And, and you know, Parker Connolly showing up right as a senior, Bryce Thomas showing up yeah. right as a senior. It was just so impressive, and it was such a team win. What um, what was kind of were there was there anything said? But you know, I'm gonna take take me back. I guess uh, I'll kind of backtrack here. You guys were down. What was said after the third the third set? So you guys are down two to one. You hadn't lost two sets all season. You know, you lost one set all season. Obviously, you know you need to win um, two sets in a row to win the title. Uh, what was kind of said after that set? It, you know, because obviously you guys were able to dig deep and get the job done. The match was going really, really fast. I think, um, mm -hmm. I don't know if that was a game plan by Benedictine or not to speed up the pace of play. Yeah. Or if this, the ref set a quick whistle or what it was. Um, all season long, we've been really trying to slow down volleyball um, and kind of let ourselves and our, our tempo, uh, like in play, speak. And when we're playing fast like that, it's really tough to just take a breath and play volleyball and sure. come back to play back. So, um, we just really emphasize slowing the match down, take a breath, uh, and really, really believe in the system, believe in each other, and fight. Um, you're not going to win a national championship in three sets or four sets. <laughs> yeah. you got to expect it's going to be a battle. Um, and, I, and I think we've been playing a lot of 15-point sets in practice the last couple of weeks to try to make sure we were ready for a 15-point set if it did come around. And, sure. Uh, yeah, I'm sure glad we did that because it, it mattered, obviously. This is where your senior leadership, I mean, you know, I, I and these aren't the only ones, but obviously Matt Slavinsky and your Tremper graduate, Blake Arnold, for the Kenosha people out there. Um, this is where you got to really lean on those guys, right? I mean, I talk about, you know, those guys pulling together all their experience, everything they had. I mean, that's it, kind of what it's all about for them. It's kind of cliche, like, to talk about your senior leadership and how important they are to your volleyball team sure. and to any team in general, right? Uh, it's definitely a cliche everybody uses, but there's a reason why that's a cliche. Yeah. Uh, you know, every single one of our seniors who, who has a significant impact on this team, guys who play consistently, um, every single one of our seniors in general, even if they're not playing consistently, we're doing a great job of leading this volleyball team. But you talk about uh, Parker Connolly hitting gaps and scoring cutback consistently in set four to keep us alive. You talk about Bryce Thomas and his blocking moves on the right pin something he's significantly improved on this season and it made it really impossible for teams to score out there. And then you talk about Blake Arnold, the Tremper graduate. He made the run in the fifth set that won us a national championship. Yeah. Those three guys stepped up in the fourth and fifth set to help us win. And then Matt Slavinsky, what is there to say about him? Um, he's going <laughs> to come back for a fifth year, obviously. We're yeah. Really excited about that. Yeah. Uh, but there, he, he won the match today. He, he was just unbelievable, taking high hand swings in tough situations. When the set wasn't there, he was controlling it and right back. We sure. talked about a lot. He was on fire today. Last thing, well, one more thing, JW, for, kind of from a, a big picture perspective, I, I want to ask, um, you know, to get, bring up the name LJ Marks for people who don't, um, might not be familiar with men's college volleyball in the area or the Carthage program. Um, you know, he kind of built this thing. From, from the ground up, and, and, and I know there was some national tournament heartbreak for LJ in, in some of those years, but uh, I don't know if you've talked to him yet or anything, but, he, you know, he you have to really feel good for him. Um, he has to feel like this is as much his as anybody's. Um, so, it, it, funny that you mentioned that. LJ, I got LJ over FaceTime while we were still in the gym. <laughs> uh, he's, he had a big watch party today with a bunch of alumni <laughs> and coaching friends of ours. Um, so, he had a big watch party and then um, one of the things he said is make sure you FaceTime me in the locker room if you win. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a locker room because of COVID, so there was no <laughs> locker room. But we got him a FaceTime 
uh, while we were in the gym still, and he couldn't hear us because of what was the ruckus going on at his watch yeah. party. But he could see the guys and celebrate with him. And then we actually got him over the phone five minutes ago. Uh, he called uh, Matt Reinsel, my assistant coach, who also has some national tournament heartbreak in his past. Yeah. Player of the year for us. Um, but no, the first thing I said to LJ was this championship is as much yours as it is mine. Sure. This team. Like, it, he built this from the ground up. He's had so many opportunities, and he, like, it's not, like, it's so tough to say, like, our season wasn't defined by this match. It wasn't defined by it. Yeah. We played an incredible year, right? It, but to win it and seal it off in the way that you wanted to and you, you felt like you deserved, um, there's nothing sweeter. And LJ set the culture here, um, and I think you've quoted him before on this one, but I love to say it. When you get handed the keys to a Ferrari, you don't have to change it. You don't need to make <laughs> That's it right. Flourish. Keys and you drive it. That's right, absolutely. Last thing, JW, what do you do now? I mean, you know, how long do you take a break before you start getting ready for a, a title defense? <laughs> well, there, there's no rest for the win. That's right. Recruiting is always a thing. Um, you know, you're always trying to help your guys. Our guys just graduated. It was finals week this week at Carthage. So uh, all of our <laughs> seniors missed graduation to be out here, and I know this means a heck of a lot more to them uh, <laughs> than to, to be out here and win this. But also they missed graduation, so super proud of them. No question. Uh, all our guys are graduating and going on to some awesome jobs. So that's really the most important thing in life, but uh, they, they've learned so much over this season. It, it's just so much fun, and I'm happy. Uh, and Dr. Swallow, we had a call with him while we walked in with the trophy. Yeah. Um, his, his impact on this uh, campus, uh, in this college, to allow us to play a sport that we all love and to allow us to get back to some sense of normalcy. His leadership and his ability to find a way to make it happen uh, and, and to allow us to play and to give us the opportunity to play is so special. Yeah. I can't thank him enough for it. And then you talk about Nate Stewart and everything he's done. Yeah. Uh, for, to lead this department forward with our, as our athletic director. Um, we can't, we could not have done, literally we couldn't have done it without them. But then just their leadership has been just amazing for my entire time here at Carthage. No question. Well, JW, again, congratulations. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a proud thing for the community to have a national championship. So well done, and uh, we'll talk soon. We're proud to be bringing it home. We'll Thanks. See you, soon, you got it. Take care.